Today is July 21st. The day before it all goes down, the finals. The stage will be set after this matchup. Israel just got a big time win over France. Final score 83 to 57 in that one. So they basically walked their ways into the final. Question is, who is going to meet them there? Germany and Croatia going to battle it out here now. So we'll be able to see who's going to set the table for the finals for this year's FIBA U20 European Championship. Man, Israel, a big time team. So either one of these teams... If they don't show me anything that they can actually beat Israel, well, I'm going to tell you that Israel might take the championship. They might be the first place team because they are stacked. They have a lot of players that come to ball out and that can play their role. They know their role and they stay in it. But they're two big time players. Yovel Zuzman and Michael Moore Brisker. Team clocks in to do what they do best. Either one of these teams right here have their hands full. We'll see here in a second, though. Stay tuned in. Go tell your friends and family that you're watching Germany take on Croatia. Go to Facebook and share the live stream on your Facebook page. Go and share. And while you're there on the FIBA page, make sure you press the like button. For you fans that are watching the live stream on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you can even send the link to other people. Just copy the link at the top and paste it in a text to your friends and family to go tell them to check out Germany and Croatia. If you're fans of either one of these teams, I know you want to see all the action. Stay tuned in. In a second, we'll be able to talk more about some of the players. What happened in their last matchup is Croatia and Italy went head-to-head -head in a battle. And then Turkey and Germany. Both Germany and Croatia came out with wins over those two teams. That's the reason why they're here. But we'll go more in-depth in that here in a second. You'll also hear the full rosters as well as the starting lineups and then the national anthem for Germany as well as the national anthem for Croatia. Welcome in to the FIBA U20 European Championships. There's your schedule of the day. We've seen two games right there, the classification games, 13 through 16. And then the first semifinals matchup was just completed on the same floor. Israel and France went at it. And as you can see, an easy walk away win for Israel. But hey, what's going to be the outcome of this one? The winner will go to the finals and take on Israel in the FIBA U20 European Championships to see who's going to take first and second place. Germany and Croatia 
lined up to get it going here in the semifinals. Taking a look at some of the previous games or just the last game for each one of these teams. Germany took on Turkey. The fans are packed in here. But Germany had a big who did everything that he could to make sure his team got put over the top. And he helped them with a 17-point win over Turkey. His name is Costa Mashidi. This guy here had 22 points. Five rebounds, five assists, one steal. Stacking up the sheet and doing it well. But he wasn't the only one getting it going. They were out rebounded, but they shot 45% from the field. And they led in every category. Really good team. Their biggest lead was 26 in this one. They won by 16. Croatia full roster. You'll hear that now, and then you'll hear the full rosters and then the national anthems. Stay tuned. Let's listen in. Thank you. 
There's the exchanging of gifts. The fans are filing in. They're packed into this one, and I know you know why. Welcome to Germany. They're packing the house out. It's the FIBA U-20 European Championships here in Germany. Croatia took on Italy the other day, and they got a win 79-68. to Top performer for Croatia. Krasimir Lupicic had 10 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 blocks as a big. But he wasn't the only one. They out-rebounded Italy by 12, had 11 offensive rebounds. There's the team roster for Croatia right there on your screen. You can see all the way down to the head coach. They shot 48% from the field, 54% from inside the arc. So that's where a lot of their work is coming. They did have 18 turnovers, though. And the good thing about that is Germany, well, points off turnovers. They led Turkey, had 18 of their 78 points were points off of turnovers. They had 16 themselves, but biggest thing for them, their biggest lead was by 26 points over Turkey. You look at the comparison for today, well, Croatia, field goal percentage-wise, out of all the games, they shoot about 49% from the field. Germany shoots about 41% on average from the field. Germany does out-rebound Croatia. 30 defensive rebounds, 14 offensive rebounds. So that's 44 to 35 when it comes to the boards. There's the team roster for Germany all the way down to the head coach. Right there, we'll be able to see the starting lineup here in a second for Germany. The last time these two teams matched up was... Back in the U-20 European Championship in Division A on July 21st, this exact same day. How crazy and weird is that? But it was back in 2013. The final score of that one was 76 to 65. And Germany, the host country, took the win. Every time before that, 2013, 2010, and 2009, Croatia took every last one of those wins. This one should be good. Head coach of Germany right there. The house is packed for this one. Very well so. Go tell your friends and family you're tuning in in Germany. It's going to be Germany and Croatia for the FIBA U-20 European Championship semifinals. Go and share the live stream on Facebook. Many people want to see this matchup. It's the host country going against one of the best teams, Croatia, who has beat them three out of the last four times they've matched up. So with that being known, that Croatia has won against Germany three out of the last four meetings, well, Germany's going to look to change that. They did last time on this same exact date, July 21st, but it was just a few years ago. 2013 was the last time. The question is, who is going to meet in the championship? We already have Israel. They're waiting. Who's next? Here we go. Germany is going to start off with possession. Set two screens. They go around it. That's missed. Easy put back down low from a rebound. They go once again. And the man who had a huge game the other day starts it off for Germany. Costa Mushidi comes in early for a bucket. He's a big time big too. You want to slow him down. It's just all about tiring him down. Takes one from deep. That goes out of bounds. It's a big man. Has wide shoulders. So with that, you can tell that he clears out the paint 
really well. Here he is dribbling it. Kicks it out to three. Goes off the glass, missing. Rebound Croatia. They looked at the cutter. Dresnak actually steps on the line. It's going back the other way. Two turnovers for Croatia to come here. You're wondering what that sound is. Well, that's probably going to be going the whole time. The host country is in action, so probably be the most packed game. And wow, if they make it to the championship, Germany versus Israel would be insane. Probably be standing room only. First foul on Stisnik. Was looking to take one from deep, but Croatia is going to get possession. Pull up from outside. Missed off the back iron. They get their own rebound, though. Nice pass down low. They missed the easy one. And Germany comes up with it. Fast break. Very smart by him. To slow down the fast break, Mushidi did not kick it out to the guards. Wanted to take it himself. In turn, that slowed up the fast break. Still 2 0. Here, 8.15 left to go in the first. Slings the ball, kicks it down low. The bench stands up for Germany, hoping for a basket, and they get it to go. Here's the fans. Getting their team on top. It's 4-0 to here early in the first. As mentioned to you, a lot of their points come inside the paint. They already have two baskets, and both of them are from you-know-where. Comes Germany once again, this time O'Leading. Kicks it out, wide open three-pointer. Misses. Croatia's gonna get their first opportunity to score. They look to put it up and it's good. A nice floater take to the cup. Floats it right over the defense and gets it to go. That one by Perkovic. Gate, screen set. Fast break, they have numbers. They pull up for three. Don't get it to go. Moving around. They move the ball really well offensively. There's a three taken from outside. It's missed. Gonna get called for a personal foul. Carlo holds its hands out like, what in the world was I supposed to do? That guy is huge. <laughs> he bumped right into him and fell on the ground. Croatia will get back on defense. Has three seconds on the shot clock. It's missed off the front iron. Croatia's putting it. Pushing it, they don't have numbers. They put it up anyway. It's missed. Rebound. Mushidi has three players. Goes up. Looks like it's going to get called for a blocking. Mushidi is going to head to the free throw line. Take a look at the fast break. A mini Euro step, trying to go around the player. It's going to be two free throws. For the big. That one's missed. Told you the other day he had 22 points, five rebounds, five assists in their 17 point win over Turkey. 
Misses both free throws there, and fans don't like that at all as he stays at the free throw line. 6-12 left to go here in the first. Slips off of the screen. Looks to go down low. Hard to make a decision. It's going back the other way for Germany. It's like it's packed in the building. Neither team not shooting great right now, that's for sure. It's almost halfway through the first quarter and it's only four points for the most team for Germany right now Croatia has two points two for ten is Germany right now so 20 percent from the field missing that one puts it back up that misses as well Croatia not doing too well as also from the field they look to change that here on this possession. They look down low to the big. He goes up with the left and finishes. And now it's all tied at four here in the first quarter. Two of eight is Croatia, 25% from the field. Swings it to the corner using the little shimmy shake. Can't get it to go. Takes it to the top. Pump fake. Looks down low. It gets tapped. It's staying on this end for Croatia. Look at that crowd. Packed in. It looks like standing room only. No open seats. Down low on the floor for this matchup. Make sure you share the live stream on Facebook. Looks like it's going to be a decent game to determine who's going to the finals. Make sure your friends and family don't fight you for not letting them know. So make sure you share the live stream on Facebook and YouTube to let everybody know this matchup is going on right now. Boy, I tell you one thing, they definitely brought the band in this one. Croatia goes up with the left. It rattles out, tapped around a few times, and it stays here once again. Croatia gets a third chance opportunity. Four twenty left to go here in the first. Going up, floats, taps it back in, and one basket. Going to head to the free throw line. Looks to make it a three-point play, and that's going to be the first lead for Croatia in this matchup. Take another look, takes it to the cup. Can't make the first one, but ends up tapping it back in himself and gets fouled. Foul call to number 11 of Germany, Mushidi. Wow, that's a very early violation, but they're going to count it. 406. The weave and go. Nice bounce pass after the crossover. Going to the big, another and one on the opposite side of the court. And the kids are even loving it. Foul call on Croatia's Proletta. His first personal. They're going to look to tie it with this free throw. Good. 
Tied it all seven. Oh, look at the mascots in the building. <laughs> they brought out the mascot. You know it's about to get real. Nice take to the glass. A beautiful finish. After making the defender go the other way. Two-point lead for Croatia. Broletta, that's his second personal after two possessions down defensively. It's two personal fouls on him. He's talking to the ref, trying to get them to side his way. It's, he believes he got fouled. Both teams right now tied in the assist category, one each. One block for Croatia, two turnovers. For Croatia, though, so that's definitely not good. If they want to change that and they want to keep the score at least where it's at or even ahead, those turnovers have to stay low. They're leading in the points in the paint category with eight and three second chance points right now in this game. All tied at nine. Not a high-scoring game at all right now. So it lets you know every point scored in this matchup, it matters. Step out jumper. Missed off the back iron. It's tapped out. Germany comes up with it. They look to get the lead back again. We'll see if they can. They leave him wide open from deep. Nothing but money all the way from downtown. On the wing, three points for Hasperger. That's going to be an offensive foul. He did it three times and waited on that very last time. That's further who just knocked down a three-pointer on the other end. Comes down defensively and plays great. You can see he did it right there with just a little tap. And then the second time, pushed off with the forearm. Great defense and great IQ for him to actually notice that has further. Very smart player. He has the ball right now, uses both screen, screens. I was close to a moving screen, leaves a player wide open for three. That's good. Back to back threes for Germany. The fans are loving it, and it's going to be a timeout. 15 to 9. Germany starting to find that niche to put him over to the top. Six point lead here in the first quarter. We got 235 left to go. You stay tuned. the timeout right there some fans in awe of right now some fans are loving it some fans got lollipops in their mouths I would like one of those that's for sure <laughs> can't ever go wrong with a lollipop depending on what flavor it is though blue raspberry seems to always be everybody's favorite but there's a lot of other ones that are out there as well we're talking about lollipops here in the semifinals. Nobody's looking to be a lollipop. Everybody trying to get over the top and get themselves in the finals of this matchup. 15 to 9, six point lead for Germany right now. Gonna head to the free throw line. 
It's going to be two free throws for Croatia's number four, Mati Kalasic. First one's good. He's shooting right at 67%. Two for three. Inside the arc right now for Croatia. He's going to take a second free throw. That's good as well. Cut the lead down to four and pick up full court. Man to man. Croatia looking to bring on the pressure. Uses the skip pass in the pump fake. It rattles out. Goes out of bounds. It's probably going to go in possession of Croatia, and it does as it bounced off the hands of Germany's number nine, Richard Frudenberg. Pull up from deep. Misses. Germany's pushing. Good defense by Croatia. Looks at the cutter. Swings to the top. Ceiling down low. Whistle's going to be blown. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Also hit the bell right next to it. You can get the notifications at all times when FIBA goes live stream and they post up any highlights about anything that happens here in the FIBA U20 European Championship in Germany. I know you want to see all those highlights, so you might as well hit the subscribe button on YouTube. As we're close to 500K. Lagerputsch and Frudenberg going to take a seat. For Germany. Good defense. Use the screen and then curls down low. Pulls up mid range style. Missing. Throws it back in. Germany comes up with it. They were kind of slow to react, but then they start to push. Going the other way. Good defense for Croatia. Four turnovers for Croatia now. France has three. Excuse me, Germany. There's a pump fake. Takes it from deep. God, nothing but money from downtown. 15-14, one point lead for Germany and it goes out of bounds. There's another turnover. Both Germany and Croatia have four turnovers each now in this matchup. There's been quite a few lead changes as well. Croatia is going to have an opportunity to get the fifth lead change in this matchup. Looking down low, nice pass to an easy lay-in for Croatia, and it's back a one-point lead for them. 16-15. Germany on the fast break. They kick it out to the corner. Three-pointer taken and made. Knocked down. It's all good. Another lead change on the board. For Germany this time, Hasfurther knocks down his second three of today. Ooh, you can do it. Let me get my chance to do it too. Not talking about dancing, but the shot is pure. 19-18. That's going to end off the first quarter. One point lead for Croatia. Stay tuned. Second quarter coming up soon.
Croatia leading in the points in the paint right now. Ten of their 19 are in the paint. They had 36 points in the paint the other day versus Italy in their 79 to 68 win. So it's a really good fact that they're actually staying active and keeping with the same game plan that got them here. Swings it over to the top, setting the screen. Going to get a foul call here at the beginning of the second quarter. Six of 16, Germany right now from the field. Seven of 18 on the other side for Croatia. So both teams not doing absolutely great on the offensive end, but it'll do since the score is not high scoring right now. We'll see if that makes a big-time difference later today. 50% from behind the three-point arc for Germany. See if they can stay hot like that. Good defense, Croatia. They come up with it as the shot clock was going down to four. Oh, the give and go, the extra skip pass, swinging it around the horn. Missing that one. Some beautiful passing by Croatia. Nice bounce pass, the up and under finish. Off the glass is good for Germany. Number 11, Costa Mushidi, now has four points. Mushidi begging for what happened on that one, but it was clear as day. He pushed the player. Going to get called for a foul on that one. That's his second. Croatia's plus three on the boards right now. 15 rebounds. Four of those have come offensively. Croatia down by one. They kick it to the corner for three, and they take another lead. Two-point lead here in the second quarter. And that's another lead change. That's eight so far in this matchup. Swings it over to the corner. Takes it. Can't get it to go. Croatia on the fast break. Two on two. They decide to take it out. Using the screen. Good defense for Germany. Fast break. That's stolen once again. They have numbers. Croatia dips it off to the pass. Goes off the glass. It's missed. Mushidi comes up with it. He's going coast to coast. Slows down a little bit. It's up speeding up. Hits his foot. Goes out of bounds. Back to Croatia. The mascot got hands, too, from the seat. He was thinking about using his speed to slow down and then speed up. The change of pace in the game of basketball is a huge, huge advantage when you have it working in your favor. Takes it over to the corner. Swinging around. They make a lot of passes on the offensive end. It's always good because then that leaves open a wide open player. That's exactly what happened there. Even right over the defense. Four point lead now for Croatia. 24 to 20 with 7.27 left to go into here in the second. Stay tuned. We got more action to come right here in Germany.
Playing a little Drake in Germany. Not bad from a young kid that's from Canada. Let's get back into it here in a second. Semifinals matchup. The winner will take on Israel in the finals. I'm not sure who you're a fan of, but if they're going to take on Israel, they better come to ball because that team is the real deal. Looks down low, a beautiful pass, goes up, missing. Croatia comes up with it as it was two on the shot clock for Germany. Trying to use the screen, not effective that time. Looks back at the top of the key, really good defense for Germany. Three seconds on the shot clock, they have to put it up. Float it from the free throw line, that's missed. Rebound Germany, they come up with it. Six fifteen left to go here in the half. Going baseline, gonna get called for a foul. Make sure you like and share the live stream on Facebook. Just go and search FIBA on Facebook, facebook.com slash FIBA. Go and like and share that post for your friends and family to go and check out this really close matchup here between Germany and Croatia. 6.07 left to go. Swinging the pass to the wing. Missing, goes over the glass, going out of bounds. Croatia's coming up with the board. Eight lead changes so far in this matchup. It's kind of been a back and forth type game. We look to see if that will continue to go. Both teams have led right over about five minutes each. Both teams have eight fouls as well. Another foul, this time on Olindi. Both teams still looking for that one thing that can put them over the top because I'll tell you one thing, the field goal percentage is definitely not one that's not going to help either team out right now. I mean, Germany's 7 of 22 from the field. Croatia is 9 of 23. Mateo Dresnak, good. This is the biggest lead for Croatia right now, five-point lead. Germany had a six-point lead earlier in this matchup. The bounce pass down low, and the big just tries to take the rim off the goal. Beautiful pass down low to the big, and he finishes tough. With a dunk. Fast break. Goes off the glass. It's a layup. The lead now cut down to one. Germany is coming back in the building, and I tell you one thing. It's probably from the drums that's helping them out. Seven fast break points right now for Germany compared to the zero fast break points 
for Croatia. That's a definite standout. Right now, it tells you that Germany's playing great defense, and any chance they get to get out on the run, they're pretty much getting the job done. All you ask, what needs to be done by both teams to put them over the top? Well, Germany, they have seven turnovers. If they can slow that down and knock down a couple shots because being 9 of 25 isn't really going to cut it when you're playing anybody. But Croatia on the other side starting to heat up from the field goal, but they just they don't have any points on the fast break, but they are leading points in the paint. So if they can continue to slow the game down to their pace and get the ball down low, then Croatia will be able to advance to the finals. Going to be a foul call. Head to the free throw line. 27-24. Take a look at that one again. Beautiful lay-in. Stenich going to have his second fouls. Going to take a seat. It's going to be 10 fouls for them. Free throws missed. Take a look at some of the players that's leading in the categories for both squads. Well, number four, Mati Kalic has seven points right now, shooting 50% from the field, has two assists. He's on the bench right now for Croatia, and they still continue to get it going. Kolak, Mateo, number 12 right there, gets the bucket to go. He now has five points, shooting 100% from the field one rebound to go along with that on the other side looking to get that bucket to go now has further six points shooting 67 percent from the field that was a foul on the rebound right there as you can see ball's going back to germany five point lead for croatia here in the second. Working him. Down low. Using the spin. He goes up. Can't get it to go. He gets the foul anyway. Going to head to the free throw line for two. Take another look at that one. Working the defender down low. But that body was the reason why. He was called for a foul. Gonna these two free throws go be crucial on that one is good for Germany. They cut this lead down to four. Make it three. With a little bit over three minutes to go. It's a three-point lead. You've seen the brackets. Israel and France battled it out earlier today. 83 to 57 was the final score in that one. Israel obviously advances to the finals, and they'll take on the winner of this matchup. Let us know in the comment section and use the hashtag FIBAU20Europe to let us know who you think is going to get the win. This one's going back and forth. Pulls it from deep. Misses. Goes out of bounds. Taking a look at some of just the top performers from this entire FIBA U20 European Championship tournament. Elijah Clarence has been averaging 22 and a half points. Per game for his squad of Sweden. Big time player. He's leading the points category. Almost 23 points a game for him. Knocked down from deep. That's a jumper that's going to extend this lead to six. Kolak has eight points. He's getting on the board a lot more here in the second quarter.
They try to match him with a three. Can't get it to go. It goes out of bounds. And it's going to stay here on the side of Germany. Is Couldn't handle the ball as it came off the rim. 2.19 left to go here in the second. Oh, nice bounce pass. There's the easy one. I love the inbounds pass to the cutter who's going right inside the paint. That is one of the most easiest shots in the game of basketball. That one by Weidmann for Germany. They have three on the shot clock. They'll have to put it up. He floats it, misses. Rebound Germany. Right under two minutes left to go in this one. Using the screen, the cutter. Gets it back. They have seven on the shot clock. They'll have to put it up soon. Four-point lead for Croatia. Germany tries to cut it down. They have two seconds. They have to take it from the elbow. The big misses off the front iron. Thirty-two to twenty-eight. Three-pointer taken. Miss. They'll set up the offense once again. Going up. Tries to finish tough. Can't get it to go. Poletta has been playing super aggressive today in this matchup. We'll see if they can help finish out the second quarter. This half is going well. 32 to 28 with 56.2 left to go. Stay tuned. We'll end off the half the right way. You can hear a little bit of the time out there with Germany, the host country. Fans have pretty much been loud the entire day. Little kid might be drinking apple juice. No, that's not the other thing. It did look good. Ice cold apple juice for the kid with the headset on. 56.2 left to go here in the second quarter. One more shot left to go for Germany. Both even on the boards right now. Both teams have 25 rebounds. Croatia shooting now 40% from the field. That's a lot better than they were earlier at 27%. On the other side, the 32% for Germany. It's something they have to improve on. Moving around a lot. Using the screen. Goes around and dips it off, but bad pass as it goes right out of bounds. The big... Boletta not liking the call about a referee. Begging for the ball once again. Saying that it actually got tapped by the big of Germany. You can see there on his face. He does not like that call whatsoever. But I don't think the referee seen it. So he had to go to another ref to actually get their view on 
where they actually seen the ball hit. Looked like it might have hit off Germany, though, so Croatia is going to get the ball back. But they do have to notice that it is four seconds left on the shot clock, so they'll have to put it up. Lars Lagerputsch for Germany has eight points right now. He's on the bench, but the most interesting thing about that is six of those eight points have come from the free throw line. He's shooting right about 86%. There he is right there, you can see. Heads to the bench. Has the most points right now for Germany and is pretty active. Three seconds. Good defense, and it ends up going between the legs of Croatia and heads out of bounds. Germany's going to get a chance to either tie the game or cut the lead down to one. They're trying to get their team ready to roll. As if they can convert on this offensive end, it will be great for heading in the second half. They're not down by a lot, but the lot closer that you can get and tie it up, well, they're a lot better. 18 seconds left. They go up off the glass. They miss, but they end up getting it back. The PG slows it down. Looks to get a good shot to cut the lead down. They go down low to the big. He goes off the glass, and they put it back. It's a rebound put back by the big. Luis Olindi cuts the lead down to one, heading into the locker room. Halftime, Arnold, the man who came with the plan to try to keep the fans involved, is doing his job. Germany heading into the locker room, only down by one. The score right now, 32 to 31. We got a second half to battle it out. We'll see exactly what happens from there. But hey, just looking at the first half, a lot, a lot of free throws have come for Germany on their end, and that's the reason why they're staying in this one. Their field goal percentage has not been ideal, that's for sure. Shooting 32% from the field, 11 of 34 shots have gone in for them so and they're shooting about 67 percent as you can see right there leading in the points category lag of hooch has eight points told you six of those came from the free throw line and you can see the threes for has further who had back-to-back -back big ones for germany and that's the reason why they're staying in this one they're leading in the second chance category with eight points and seven points on the fast break while croatia has no points on the fast break but they're leading with points off the bench. So it's kind of a balanced game right now. No team doing something that they shouldn't be doing as far as just terribly having terrible turnovers. They seem to be super even on the turnover ratio. But we'll stay here. Hopefully the field goal percentage can get a lot better for both squads. And I'm sure it'll be a high-scoring game here in the second half. But right now, 32 to 31. Here at halftime, stay tuned. We got an entire half coming next.
Welcome back out to Germany. The host country is in action versus Croatia here in the semifinals. The FIBA U20 European Championship second half is now. Eight lead changes in the first half for this entire game. It's been up and down, Croatia then Germany back and forth. Eight turnovers for Croatia in the first half. Seven for Germany. Both teams look to keep those down, but one thing they look to turn around is the field goal percentage for both squads. Let's see if they come out of the locker room and they're able to do that. Going to Mushidi. Kicks it out. Basically air balls. Goes around, looks for the pass. It's a kick ball. Referee's going to call it. Eleven of thirty-five for Germany. So most of their points have actually come inside the paint. Hopefully, they did notice that and they go back to it. Here in the second half. Here's Croatia. They go immediately down low and off the glass to open up the second half. And they now have a three-point lead. Setting up the O. Breaking down low on the smaller defender. He pulls it from deep. Gets that one to go, and one bucket lays down on the stretcher. Let's them know when you're coming out here to ball with me, you might want to slow me down before I get my jumper up because it's all money. Take a look as he takes the one dribble, pulls up right in the defensive face, and he looks for a four-point play. There's another lead change. Germany now up by one. Host country has the fans on their side, that's for sure. The winner will take on Israel. Looks like it's going to go out of bounds. Winner's going to take on Israel in the championship. 
Make sure you follow FIBA on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button so you get the notification as well as the bell. When they post the live stream or even the highlights of this game, you'll be able to see that all online. Germany comes up with it after scuffling down low in the paint on the end for Croatia. Making the skip pass that was close to a turnover. The big gets fouled. He's going to head to the free throw line for two. Take another look. The point guard. Beautiful pass by Bennett Hunt. Down low to the big. Philip Stenich going to head to the free throw line for two. They already have a one-point lead. They look to make it three here. Hopefully by the big, he misses the first one. You take a look at the boss scores for Germany. Mushidi is leading the points category and also has the most rebounds. So number 11 or Germany came the ball out today. All around right now, they don't have too many points, but just for him to have eight of the 36 says a lot about how much effort he's putting into what Germany's doing right now. Mateo Kolik, who's actually on the bench right now for Croatia, is leading in their points category. He also has eight. 8.04 left to go here in the third. Croatia still down by two. Looking for a wide open lay-in. They get it to go all tied again. Another possible lead change coming here soon. Going up off the glass. That's good. Turn around Jay with the easy, nice finish off the glass. If you don't have a soft touch, that would never go in. <laughs> it's going to be a lot going on at the top of the key. Take another look right here. Hunt getting tied up, but it's trying to grab the ball and actually come up with it. They get the possession for a jump ball, and Croatia's going to get it back. Good. Three ball from deep. Croatia feeling it right now. Ten points now. Kolesic as you know this is the 21st edition of the FIBA U20 European Championship this year it's in Germany so a lot of teams that were compiled in this one. Jumper from deep that's missed off the back iron. Looking to bounce pass down low, ends up going out of bounds. Gonna be a couple subs coming in. Croatia now shooting a lot better. Talked a lot right before halftime as well as coming out of the locker room for halftime about Croatia being really smart about where they are most efficient. It just so happens to be down low and just maybe 12, 10 to 12 feet around that area. They seem to be super efficient. They've gotten their field goal percentage up now to 45%. And that's why now they have a three-point lead. Croatia for three. Missing that one. 
That was Carlo Revich. 6.25 left to go here in the third. Make sure you go share the live stream on Facebook. Let all your friends and family know this one's probably more than likely going to come down to the wire. 41-38 here in the third quarter. Game seems to have slowed down a little bit as the first half was all about getting up and down the court. Both teams have been able to slow it down a little bit and play great defense. And there's a turnover right there once again for Germany. The point guard, Niles, has further. Can't keep up right there. Carlos going to set up the offense. Swings it over to Mati. Goes baseline. It's going to be a foul called on the floor. Ball's going back to Croatia on their end. Who do you think is going to pull it out? Let us know in the comment section. Croatia is doing really good right now with a three-point lead. They can extend it right here. Using the screen. Looks down low to the big where they've been very efficient. And this time they convert once again down low. The fan knows where they can get the job done. And that's in the paint. Get past to the corner, taking one dribble pull up from the short. That's good. A very fluid jumper from Zyka. Was a five point lead. Now back down to three. Hasn't gone past eight for either team in this matchup. Croatia tries to step out and show the range, but. There it is again, a, a missed shot from outside the paint. Twenty-six of the forty-three points right now for Croatia have come inside the paint. I would expect them to actually go back down low. Looking at the cutter, beautiful pass and nice finish off the glass. There it is again, five point lead for Croatia right now over Germany. Swinging to the top, looking down low for the big. Working his way, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Using the hook and goes off the glass, a soft touch to finish using the backboard. Is Stenic, he now has nine. Most have come inside the paint, then made one of two free throws. Pump fake. Going baseline, looks like he was going to try to boom on him. No whistle blown whatsoever, offense or defense. Take another look. He got up pretty high, though. Looked like it was either going to be some type of foul, but no foul call on either side. Taking a look at just some of the participating teams that are here that placed last year in 2017, the FIBA Europe U20 Championship Division B. Romania took the win. As we know, Croatia was the runner-up. So Croatia was actually in the championship matchup in the previous FIBA U20 European Championships. Great Britain came in third. Question is, can Croatia actually get back to the finals? And either win it or place back in second. The host country begging for themselves to get locked in. 
for this matchup. They have the fans on their side, that's for sure. And usually when you're the host country, you have a little bit more advantage over every other team. 408 left to go here in the third. Pull up three. Good. Fluid jumper. Knocked down from deep, which gives them a one-point lead. There's another lead change in this matchup. Pull up from deep. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Swings it over to the corner. Goes baseline. Kicks it out. Three-pointer missed off the back iron rebound. Down low from the big. They get another chance. Here's has further. As the third quarter is winding out. With time, both teams still going back and forth. 13 lead changes in this matchup. Good defense. Looks like his shoes came out. That's Weidmann right there for Germany. Trying to get himself ready. 11 turnovers for Germany right now. But they do have five steals, so trying to at least even that out. I mean, it's been a very close game this entire game. The biggest lead has been six points by both teams. Here's a three from deep. Missed. Rebound. Frudenberg. Now back over. It's wide open for three. Missed again. Gets his own board. Whistle's going to be blown. Dresnak tried to come up with it. Was fouled once he got his hands on the ball. He's actually going to be subbed out as well. Going to take a breather. Dresnak's going to take a seat for Croatia. Get himself a breather and maybe get back in in the fourth quarter. Draznak for Croatia has been pretty good. Does have three points, four rebounds. That's what you call an active player. It's going to be a technical foul on the coach. Talking a lot of smack to the referee right now. Referee not even trying to listen to it. No sense of going back and forth. Fans up and on their feet for Croatia. Gets the tech. And obviously that's going to send Germany to the free throw line. Let's take another look once again. Looks like that he tried to basically plead his case that Germany stepped on the line. I mean, it was close. If it wasn't on the line, then it, it was definitely close. And then at the same time, if there was no foul called on Croatia, it seemed like it was a small nudge. Then it should be out of bounds if he did step on it. Two-point lead for Germany. Working the defense. Almost loses the ball, and they're scuffling for it on the ground. Croatia's begging for a traveling call. Specifically, Kresimir. Take another look. Frutenberg losing the ball there and then 
Get scuffled on the ground. They actually get it back on the offensive end. Kick outside. Go in, dip it down low. Ends up losing the ball. They put it back up from the floor. Can't get it to go. Whistle's going to be blown by the referee down low on the baseline. Even the fans not liking that one at all. Was close to shot clock violation. Either way, it's going to go the other way. It's going to be a foul call on Frutenberg. And that's going to bring Mr. Lars Lagerputsch in for Germany. Stenich is going to take a seat. Kicks it over. Goes straight in. Beautiful finish by the big taking it to the glass. Croatia loving it. Nice finish for Kolak. Swings it over for three. Missed off the back iron. Rebound. Perkovic comes up with it. He takes it to the top of the key using the screen. It's probably going to be an offensive foul. That's what it is, sticking his leg out, making the defender fall on the ground. Let's take a look over at what's going on on YouTube. Get active in the comment section over there. Let us know what you think of this matchup. Look at that take to the cup. Beautiful finish by Mateo Kolak. Wow, and it's almost 8,300 people watching on YouTube. Shout out to all 8,286 people that are watching on YouTube right now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell on the YouTube channel to get all notifications when FIBA goes live or even highlights are put up on the FIBA platform. All tied at 47 here in the third quarter. Posting up down low, begging for the ball. Can't get it, four seconds left. They shoot it from deep, and it's good. A lead that's taken, a three-point lead, 50 to 47, Croatia. Thirty-three seconds left here in the third. They take one from downtown. That misses. Rebound Croatia. 20 on the shot clock. 23 on the game. Looks like they're going to milk the clock down for one shot. Using the screen. Takes another. Kicks it out for three in the corner. That misses. Germany comes up with it. They have three seconds. They have to shoot it from the top of the key. That misses off the back iron. It's 50 to 47. He made it all the way from downtown. Talk about a game plan in Germany. Forget that. That shot was made all the way from a different country. It did not count, but he just lobbed it. He barely even looked at the rim, and it was nothing but net. 50 to 47 here at the end of the third quarter. It's one more 10 minutes of the fourth quarter left to go. Stay tuned. Who's going to the finals? We'll see in 10.
Here we go. If you're just tuning in, here comes the fourth and final quarter. Germany and Croatia battling it out this entire game. The score right now is 50 to 47. But this has been one that you didn't want to miss. 13 lead changes. The biggest lead has been six for both teams. Right now, Croatia holds a three-point lead. And they have the ball on the offensive end. Going up, this is Olindi. Comes up with the rebound for Germany. He gets it back. Looks like he wants to go straight in. Looks down low to the big. Not before the whistle's blown. This game will determine who plays in the final. Go and share the live stream on Facebook. It's getting down to the crucial moment. It's nice steal for Croatia. Going up and then Kolak finishing tough with a beautiful acrobatic finish on the opposite side of the glass. He now has 12. Nice pass down low, feeding it in. That's a nice dunk. Luis Olindi for Germany now has four. That one was a nice slam down low in the paint. They've cut the lead down to three. Onto the glass, missing that one. Croatia's gonna slow down the offense. Begging for it over in the corner, goes baseline. Knockdown jumper from deep, here comes Germany. Niles has further. Had a big time first half. He's continuing it here in the second. All tied at 52. Breaking down this game, field goal percentage has gotten a lot better from both squads. 18 of 51 for Germany, which isn't great, but has gotten a lot better. If you tuned in to the first half, then you do know the 36% that they're shooting right now for, from the field is a lot better. It's really their three-point percentage that's holding them back. They're shooting 42% from inside the arc. We'll see more of this matchup. Here in the fourth quarter, we got 7.24 left to go. Stay tuned. It's all tied at 52. Go and get everybody in and let them know Germany and Croatia are going at each other's necks right now here in the fourth. Yeah, some interesting facts for you. Croatia, who's in this one right now, all tied with the host country, Germany, is battling it out. Last year, 2017 FIBA U20 European Championship, Division B, they came in second 
in the entire event. Third was Great Britain. And the winners was Romania. So they look to make themselves back to the final like they did last year, but we'll see exactly if they can do that or not. Forty rebounds right now.
Oh, my God. 